Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for episode 20, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright, so this is episode 20, so we've got episode 20, 21, and 22, so that's just three episodes left of this season. I am so excited to see all these last episodes, especially coming off of the Godspeed episode, but also last episode. What an ending. Nora, oh my god, what has happened to her? We'll talk a bit more about that and the negative speed force in this video. I've got a few theories to talk about as well, but let's break down this trailer. So this is for Gone Rogue, episode 20, and this sees the return of essentially like the new rogues some of the rogues we've seen this season and in past seasons but you know younger than our typical Captain Cold type rogues alright so the first shot in the trailer is this and you see Ragdoll he's returned I thought he was pretty good earlier in the season but he was underused I think he's a cool idea he's a cool concept but yeah the episode he was in was alright as far as I can remember I think it was pretty good but he was definitely underused and the way he went out he sort of just flopped to the ground I think I think Ralph just had him in it in like his chest or something I, I can't entirely remember but that was the episode where Iris fell down and like undid Barry's cuffs that was a bit weird all right so we see Ragdoll right here he is actually captured and put meta cuffs on both Cisco and Sherlock but obviously Sherlock doesn't have powers but they are together and Cisco is here cracking jokes so he goes we got a ragdoll a weather witch and then we'll talk about the bit he says after but moving on to the next shot we see this other shot of ragdoll they're in some sort of hideout you see an American flag it's some sort of warehouse of sorts and you see Barry right here so it does seem like this episode actually is going to be them actually working with the rogues because it does seem like Barry's in that place he's not trying to confront anyone Although he's kind of in a weird position, that's because of the trailer and how it's cut. It was just such a short frame that that's the only way we were able to get a photo of it. But it seems like with Nora actually working with them, I think the reason why she's working with them is actually to stop Cicada. Because, you know, she wants to go back in the past and do her mission essentially. Although, like I said, last episode she got taken up by the negative speed force. It seems like she is bad or she can harness that bad side of herself. But I think this episode she's going to be a bit more controlled than we saw at the end of last episode when all that rage sort of just came right up through her and it was seeping out of her eyes literally. So yeah, she is going to have to try and rein that in. But yeah, I think by the end of the episode this is going to be actually happening like they're actually all going to be working together even though obviously they are criminals. All of them basically. So all right, let's move on to talk about this next frame in the trailer. And also just a quick reminder, I'm actually going to be breaking down some of these photos towards the end of the video. I forgot to mention that at the start, so sorry about that. But yeah, we will be going over at least a couple of these photos because they released a quite a decent amount. But let's move on to the next shot in the trailer. And so the next shot in the trailer is of... Weather Witch and so this is part of the montage and you go over to the next shot and you see Nora for the very first time in the trailer when I first saw it I was like oh shit why is Nora here but yeah so Nora is going to be working with them so it seems like she's helped actually kidnap Sherlock and Cisco. I think it's for their plan I don't think they're going to harm them in any way but you see this shot right here and this is where we go back into Cisco's speech so he goes we got a ragdoll a weather witch Hold up, is that crazy bee girl? Hey girl, what's going on? That was a funny line. I actually was laughing in the trailer. That was that was very unexpected and I liked that. And at first I was like, huh? Is this a different version of the character we saw previously? Like the bee lady? Uh, yeah, as this always says, bee girl. But Brie Larvin is her name and she looks totally different because the same thing goes with Felicity on Arrow and she, I believe she was in the crossover episode with Arrow and The Flash like a few years ago. I don't really remember entirely but yeah she was alright but she looks very very different and this is because she doesn't have that sort of 
geeky type look with the glasses and she seems to be a, a lot more just sort of natural in this and that is the same thing for like Felicity she looks I don't know she looks like five years older in the TV show when she has glasses on and she's wearing the exact same clothing but then when she doesn't have glasses on in, in real life Emily Bet Ricards looks like she's 10 years younger she looks like she's in her early 20s I don't know how old she is but she looks really young so same thing I did not recognize B girl as Cisco says we're gonna dub her B girl in this I thought she was being recast so that was kind of strange to me that I didn't recognize her which was kind of crazy but anyway we move on to the next shot and we see a swarm of bees she's able to like fire them out and they're trying to capture something I don't know what it is but it looks like Weather Witch is looking at something so I am not the biggest fan of Bee Girl from what we've seen in the past I think Weather Witch is just fine and I thought Ragdoll was good I thought he was pretty fine that's about it so then we move on to the next shot and we see Nora as she's standing in the dark and so Barry says she's working with them we don't know what she's capable of and in terms of saying what she's capable of I'm definitely talking about the negative speed force and what she's doing now and why she's working with villains of sorts they are villains but they're more sort of I guess anti-heroes if they are going to be working together in this episode but yeah Nora's got that evil side they don't know what she's capable of because as reverse flash teased last episode we don't know as to how far and how many new powers she'll be able to use and so also in the trailer Nora in the background says I hate you and this is obviously to Barry at some point in this episode and so that's going to be her channeling her anger we see this shot of all three of them they're working together again and you see some sort of map so they're targeting something and we see the shot of Barry and this is the speech I was talking about so then Barry says in the voice overlay I couldn't stop her and then Nora says I'm not the same person I was so I couldn't stop her could be anything but I'm guessing it's definitely to do with Nora because that is the main focus of this episode really and you see this and so this is kind of villain like but you see Nora actually beating up this guard or security guard and she is with obviously B girl as well and everyone so they're going into what looks like a military base of sorts or it could be like an airport not sure but they've got the badges that or the medals sorry that military people have so yeah I think they're doing that with malicious intent but not like totally malicious but for whatever their plan is it seems like they are doing bad deeds though all right so moving on to the next shot we see this blurred kind of slow motion shot of Nora and she's using a gun which is kind of strange but also in the next shot Barry's using a gun so maybe their powers have gone away not sure what's going on there but it seems like Nora in this next frame is actually in some sort of like wherever they are in an airbase or like a military base or an airport or something there is something there and it seems like somehow the metahuman powers stop because why would they be using guns in the first place but you see this shot and Ragdoll's in a case he's obviously been slipped in somehow maybe Nora runs in and you see B-Girl just there in the background so they're all working together once again alright so this shot Barry's on the ground it's in some sort of warehouse maybe it's the same warehouse as prior talked about and the last shot of the trailer is of Nora and Nora's just looking at supposedly Barry she says I'm not the same person I was she's been changed by the negative speed force okay so talking about these photos and going through them and what's to expect we've got a range of photos and the first photo that we're going to be going over is actually I'm not sure what at what part in the episodes all these photos are so just sort of theorize and take it as you will but ragdolls sort of ragdolling around on the ground <laughs> as you would say and we get this next photo we see Nora and she's in that warehouse she kind of looks like a criminal actually which is kind of crazy but she looks cool and she's got her hands up and it seems like maybe this is Barry confronting her and maybe her reassuring oh I'm not doing anything bad but I still hate you just saying that so 
yeah, I don't know. I'm a bit confused because at the end of the last episode, it seemed like she'd totally just twisted into actually being like a version of the Reverse Flash, but it seems like she's able to hold back a bit more in this trailer, so we'll have to wait and see. Maybe they're just showing some more tamed parts of Nora because, you know, there's not many interactions between Nora and Barry in this actual trailer, so we'll have to wait and see as to how they actually progress that and will it be more malicious like a sort of nemesis type way like Barry and Reverse Flash. We see this next photo, they're all planning together, Nora's looking at Weather Witch and they're all sort of just grouping up like I guess the Scooby gang just all getting ready to do whatever deeds they want to do but I'm guessing it's probably to do with Cicada. I don't think it'll be any other things. We then get a photo of Barry and Iris and it seems like this is Iris's office. I can't really 100% tell but it seems Barry's upset about something. Not sure what it is but I'm guessing it's probably after when they found out oh Nora's working with so and so. And we move on to the next photo. Another shot of Barry inside Iris's supposed office. Again, no idea if it's actually there or not. And he's just looking and he's talking to someone. I'm just guessing it's Iris. And so that's it for the photos, but we're going to talk a little bit about the negative speed force and a theory of mine that I had in mind after last night's episode. So this is in regards to what we saw in some finale set photos. So obviously, spoiler alert, you can click off right now. This is just me theorizing. But anyway, so in that episode last night, Nora gained access to the negative speed force, the same negative speed force that Reverse Flash created. It's his own, and in the comics, the negative speed force actually siphons off energy from the speed force, and Reverse Flash is able to actually give it to Barry, and Barry in the comics is actually consumed by it, and so essentially it's used as a weapon. So I think in this case, in the TV show with Nora actually getting it, and Reverse Flash essentially teaching her how to get it, I think there is some sort of manipulation going on, as Iris said last episode. But I don't think it's her actually being consumed. I think it is consuming her and her rage and everything. But I don't think it's Reverse Flash doing it with malicious intent. What I think is happening and what we saw from the set photos is I think Reverse Flash, when he gets out of the prison cell somehow, I don't think he's going to have his powers. Maybe they're siphoning his powers. And so my theory is maybe they don't siphon his powers off, but he's still going to be weaker and he will need that extra strength. And you know what? I think he might siphon off Nora's negative speed force energy during the finale because we see Nora working with Team Flash and everyone and she goes to attack Reverse Flash and then she steps back, sort of stumbles back and checks her hands and it seems like something is happening. Either she's been erased or, my theory is, she's losing the speed force. She's losing her powers to actually have the powers of the Flash and so she will have to gain back her normal speed force powers and so what do you think about that theory do you think it's way too far out i think it's a good idea i think it could happen uh, but i do think the erasion theory is probably a little bit more likely because it seems like everything is sort of leading up to nora being erased so i'm not sure about that but i'm so excited for the upcoming episodes this episode i'm excited to see nora's stuff that's about it. I'm not too excited to see the metas of the week, that being the rogues, the young rogues. I'm just not a big fan of a lot of them, so that's just me. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.